Hey, welcome, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. I hope your week started off well. Today, what I wanna talk about is a subject that came up in one of my strategy sessions yesterday, and I think it's something that I see a lot in entrepreneurs, and it's something people need to be aware of. You know, as entrepreneurs, we're always looking to do the things that we hear about, that we should be trying to work more on our business than in our business, that we should be trying to go from the self-employed quadrant to the business quadrant. And it's always a struggle to make sure we're doing the right things to take those steps and make those advances. But something that we've got to realize is there's times that that's just not where we are. And we've got to look at things as where we are and what are the best things to be doing. Now, what I've been thinking about is the employee factor. You know, when you're looking at a small business and let's say you've got 10 employees, if you lose one employee, that's 10% of your workforce. You can pull everyone together and you know everyone has to help out, but you can fill that spot fairly easy. Now, when you've got three employees and you lose one, that's 33% of your workforce. That's a big chunk and that really puts a kink into things and it's harder to adjust to it, it's harder to adapt and it can cause some real problems. So what happens is we become slaves or we become enslaved to our employees and the decisions we're making around employees because we're looking at things more from a state of fear of what if they leave? If they leave, I'm in trouble. Rather than making the right decision as a employer, as a business owner and those sort of things. And so what we've really got to focus on, number one is hiring properly we've got to hire the people that can really come in and be a part of the team. If you're in a position where you're not going to have a number of employees, it's going to be a small number. You've got to be very good in the hiring process because they've got to be able to come in and take over their role. And you've got to understand that good or bad, there's chances of them leaving at some point and you're going to have to face that and adjust to that. And that's when, you're definitely going to be working in the business and not on the business because until you get that spot filled, you've got to help out there and make sure that you're covering that. But when you can bring someone in, there's a few things that are important. You need to have a company culture. They have to have some expectations when they come in. You know, when, when are certain things expected? What are the expectations within the company that they need to adhere to, that they need to buy into in that culture? When are the meetings? What are the meetings? What are all those sort of things that are gonna help bring that team together aiming for that one goal? Now, one of the other things is when you bring the right person in, you know, with this person that I was on the call with, we talked about Jim Collins with his, his idea of getting the right people on the bus, getting the wrong people off the bus as soon as possible, and getting the right people in the right seats on the bus and how important that is. But it's also in a situation where you need to be able to bring people in, let them know what the expectations are and give them the freedom to do their thing. Hire the right people that you can give them once they're trained and know everything they need to do. They can go do the job and they can have the, you know, I, I like to think of it as within a company, an entrepreneurial spirit of owning their job and having that spirit and pride in what they're doing and having some freedom to maybe not do it exactly how you would do it. You know, we've talked at different times about delegation and how it can be hard to let go and delegate things, but then you realize that the other people can do it as good or maybe even better than you were doing. But if you can bring the right people in who have the right skills and train them to what you need and then give them the freedom to let loose and bring their talents to the table and expand because what's gonna happen is they're gonna do things, maybe it's not exactly how you would have done it, but in the end, it's probably gonna be a lot better. And if you're having your regular meetings and you've got that culture of open communication, you can have the conversations that if something isn't working, you can have the conversations why and what needs to change. If something isn't how you would do it, you can explain to them why they can explain why they like it, how they do, or they can maybe see it from a different light. But you've got to have the communication, you've got to have the culture, you've got to have the things in place to really help because the smaller your staff, 
the more important it is to have that team dynamic that's going to continue to carry you forward so that also as you grow you're attracting more staff and more team members that are going to fit in and be a part of that dynamic team hopefully that's helpful um it's a struggle as entrepreneurs it's all always is but there's always ways to get through this so i would love to have some more uh strategic calls with you guys if you want to talk about any of these things or anything related to my uh High Achievers Mindset Secrets course that's going to be releasing next week. Love to talk about some of those strategies, how they could apply to you. So send me a DM and say I'm interested or send me an email at jeff at jeffhagey.com and we can set something up for a free 45 minute strategy session. Thanks for being with me. Share this with someone that could use it and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.